Hello, my name is Dr. Cy Gart. I'm a retired biochemist. I've worked at several universities and at the NIH. And I want to talk to you about vaccines. I'm a Christian. I'm a lay leader in my Methodist church. I've been a, I converted to Christianity some time ago and was baptized later in life. But I want to talk to you about vaccines because this is an urgent issue in our time right now. And there is some misunderstanding and misconceptions about vaccines. Now, I have to say I'm not a virologist. I'm not a person who's expert in vaccines, but I was a professor of public health many years. And uh, I do know something about epidemiology, and I am following the literature as carefully as I can. Uh, this pandemic is very serious. It's certainly the most serious pandemic I know of in my lifetime. And we need to be very careful going forward that we are able to protect ourselves, our families, our children, and of course, our society as a whole. And although the vaccines are not perfect, you may have read recently that there are cases of people who've been vaccinated who have gotten the disease, and that's true, but they are at the moment the best tool we have to control the pandemic. There are some rumors spreading, especially on social media, some of them by people who are not being completely honest, to be honest with you. Uh, that there are things about the vaccines that should cause Christians to avoid them. Uh, the idea that they are made from fetal cells, that they are, uh, that they contain the mark of the beast, that they are in some way dangerous. None of these things are true. And instead, the reality is that vaccines are extremely effective. Uh, the mRNA vaccines in particular, which are most of the ones that we get here in the U.S. And they are not dangerous, they are not harmful, they have no effect on fertility. This is all the results of many, many studies using millions of people. Now, it's not a golden panacea, because right now we have a Delta variant, which seems to be able to infect some people who've already been vaccinated. But we do know that even when those people are infected, the course of their disease is much less severe than it is among those who have not been vaccinated. So in conclusion, we're not out of the woods. We have a long way to go, and hopefully some therapies will come along that will help. But at this point in time, with the Delta variant and possibly now the Lambda variant starting to spread, Vaccines are the best tool we have, not just to protect your own personal health and safety, but to protect the health and safety of everyone. And as Christians, we have a duty, we have a commandment to love our neighbors, to help our neighbors. And the best way to do that is to get vaccinated. It will help you, it will help your children, your family, your loved ones, and it will help all the neighbors and all the strangers you come across in your daily life. And together, as a nation, as a people, we can stop this pandemic if we ignore the lies we're being told, and we know who the great liar is. If we ignore those lies and focus on the truth, we can stop it and we can return to the kind of what now seems like paradisical life that we led before this all began. Thank you for your attention.